Yo, it's your boy Eclipse from Team Ruthless. We in here. What up, homies? Uh, again, I'm doing another solo vid. See how it works out. <laughs> uh, t- this is another topic that I wanted to touch on the podcast, and we just never got to it. So while, the, while it's fresh in my head, I want to get it out. And maybe we'll still cover this one on the podcast, maybe not. But I'm going to go ahead and throw it out there for you guys because I really want to hear you guys' opinions and whatnot. Um, but today was like what I was thinking was like the first game I ever played like what was the first game I ever played do, do people remember the first game they ever played and do they think it has a way do they think that first game shaped how they think about video games now like maybe I'm thinking too deep I don't know it was just something that popped in my head so I'm going to tell you guys, it was my first game. My first game was Super Mario World. Um, and my dad makes this joke about it t- to this day, if you ask him. It's like, I beat that game before I was able to walk. That's what he tells everybody. And honest, that was the first game I remember ever picking up, having my hands on. And first game, I think I remember, like, mastering, like, feeling like, like I, I beat that game so many times that, like, I was just done with it but even then even after that but it took years you know years of me playing this game and 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 over and over again finding all these different secrets and before I felt like I mastered it when I had no difficulty getting through any level when I had no difficulty finding any like secrets that I thought were in the game Shit, I, I Google it now. It's probably a bunch of stuff that I've never seen before. But, you know, <laughs> I feel like that being the first game I played made me into, first of all, a huge Nintendo fan. Shout out to Mario and Yoshi. Um, but it made me definitely more adventurous in video games. Like, I love adventure games. Uh, when done right, anyway. Um, I love, I love platformers, to be honest, I, I, I bought fucking, what's that game called, ukulele, as, I funded it as soon as I heard about it because of the love of platformers I had, um, and, and it was so reminiscent of an old school one, Banjo-Kazooie, back on 64, um, I also think it, it kind of made me into... I almost said a better person. Not a, like it didn't make me patient because there was things you couldn't just do. Like I had to keep trying, trying over again and, and, and until I could beat this level. I remember fighting Bowser and it took me forever, dude. Like I would get game overs back to back and I just could not figure out. And now I could beat him in like three seconds. Well, probably not now because I haven't done that game in years. But I got to the point where I could be bowsing in three. He dropped three toys. It was a wrap. Like, <laughs> any more than that, you know, I was freaking playing around. Like, that, it was what it was. Um, that also made me, definitely made me, at the time, not so much anymore, I was a completionist. Like, I had to 100% again. game. Like, if it was a magic game, I had to 100%. Like, point blank. Like, if I did not 100%, it was, like, too hard. <laughs> it was a JRPG, man. I think that's it, man. That was really all I had to say. I just want to know, like, I want to know everybody else's story. Like, what was your first game? And then, what? You think, do you think it shaped you in how you look at games today? And, yo, just share some of the moments you had. Like, Super Mario World, I, I had a great time. I remember playing it as kids and, and us taking turns. And I remember giving my dad the controller when I couldn't figure something out. And I watching him do it, and I go back and doing it, like how he did it. And so I, I figured out how to beat the level, and so I was able to beat the whole game by myself. Um, I, I remember a bunch of things. I remember, you know, using second player just so I could use Luigi because I thought he looked cooler than Mario, especially with the fire, the green, green and yellow, or green and white look better than white and red at that time for me. Uh, <laughs> I remember looking for the blue Yoshi just to have him. And always getting mad when I had to like sacrifice some RP Yoshi. I'm sorry. 
uh, to get across the stage or something. And, and, and just hate like that meme where you see freaking Yoshi like crying out for help from Mario. Like I felt that. <laughs> like I felt that for Yoshi every time I did it. I, I never wanted to do it. And every and when I did do it, I go right back and get me a Yoshi. Shout out to Blue Yoshi because he could fly. Um, and then finding all the secrets and and actually feeling like I, I wanted to complete it like this, that. And but that's before achievements, Mill. Like no one knew I would do. I was doing it. I just did it because I wanted to feel that accomplishment. You know, uh, a lot of memories with that game, man. Uh, again, you guys leave the comments in the freaking info bar. I know I say this every time, but that's I, I rather see that than subscribing likes. Like yo, again, first game and how you think it shaped you and share the memories, man. I want to know. Alright, y'all be easy.